Here we want to do some dimensional analysis, which is using the three rules of manipulating dimensions to solve problems. I here I have a function of time, x of t, and I want to know what are the dimensions of the constants a and b. So first, we know that because the uh, exponent has to be dimensionless, that the product of the dimensions b and t must equal to 1. And so that's the dimension of b times the dimension of t, and t is a time, we are said that this is a position as a function of time, so it has dimensions of time, and so dimensions of b times time is equal to 1, or the dimensions of b is 1 over time. So what is the dimension then of a? e is the base of the uh, natural logarithm, and it is simply a number, it doesn't have any dimensions, so e to the minus bt is also dimensionless. Our position function gives us a position, and that has dimensions of length, so length is equal to the dimensions of a times the dimensions of this, which is uh, dimensionless, and so a has dimensions of length. My next example, what is the dimension of density? Well, density, if we We'll call this rho. If the density is constant, we know that it is equal to the mass divided by the volume. So the mass has dimensions of mass, and volume has the dimensions of length cubed. Now you can see that if you just take a cube, the volume is equal to the width times the base times the height, which are three lengths, or length cubed. And we don't know if this is a cube or not, but of course the dimensions uh, aren't going to be different. So the density is a mass divided by length cubed. Next, let's do an example of how this can really help you. Imagine you're taking an exam, and it's asking you to find the velocity of some quantity. And at the end of a very long calculation, you find that the velocity of this quantity is some number, we'll call it 7.7, .7 times a uh, length or distance squared times the density of the object divided by the mass of the object divided by times squared. And so the you don't know if this is right, of course. You can't ask anyone. It's on an exam, and your career depends upon you getting this right answer. So what sort of checks can you make to see whether or not uh, this is right? Well, you can go recheck your work again, but let's do a quick dimensional analysis. If this is a length, so that's a length squared, uh, density is a mass over length cubed, and here's the mass, that's a dimension mass, and here's a time squared, so that's time squared. So uh, this is the L squared, take care of two factors below, the masses cancel, and we get a dimension of the right-hand side, and we know 7.7 .7 is dimensionless in this case, we get 1 over length times squared, which is not a velocity. Velocity is length over time. So you know immediately that this is the wrong answer, and you can go back to try to find your error. In my final example, let's go back. Let's say that you did know that this velocity was in this form. It's proportional to density, inversely proportional to mass, and it's proportional to length to some power a. You just don't know what a is. And it's inversely proportional to time to some power of b. You just don't know what b is. Now you can use dimensional analysis to find this. So on the left hand side we have a velocity and that's a length per time. And on the right hand side then we have this length to the power a. We have a density that's a mass length cubed. We have this mass, there's a mass, and then a time to the power of b. So what is this? Okay the m's cancel and we get a length to the power a minus 3 in the numerator and a t to the power b in the denominator. We have a length time to the negative 1, length to the 1, that's the left hand side here, and that's equal to a length a to the minus 3, t to the minus b, that's over on this side. And now, if I look at this, because both sides are equal, that means the exponents have to be equal. We know that 1 must equal a minus 3, and negative 1 must equal negative b. So 1 is equal to a minus 3, or a is equal to 4, and minus 1 is equal to minus b, or b is equal to 1. And so here we can 
simply use dimensional analysis to solve our problem.